What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing, Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. I want to continue to examine 100 years of world championship fights. Let's go back to 1949. World middleweight champion, Marcel Sedan, would give Jake Lamont of the Bronx Bowl a shot at his title. June 16th, 1949. And Marcel Sedan would stop fighting in the 10th round. Couldn't come out his corner because of an injured shoulder. And that would give the title to Jake LaMotta. But unfortunately for Marcel Sedan, he was on his way back to the United States to fight Jake LaMotta once again. And he would unfortunately die in a plane crash. Let's take a look at Jake LaMotta and Marcel Sedan. Now, as we look at Jake LaMotta, he's in a ring shadow boxing with the leopard robe. Both men are called into the center of the ring for instructions. So now we're looking at Jake LaMotta and Marcel Sedan. Now Marcel Sedan is to your left and Jake LaMotta is to your right. Now Marcel Sedan is a well-schooled fighter. As you can see, he has both hands up. His elbows are tucked in tight. And he throws punches from where the hands are. Jake LaMotta is swinging with both hands. Swinging for the fences, as they're called, but he's consistent. And the reason why Marcel Sedan is having problems with him is because Jake LaMotta doesn't stop punching. Marcel Sedan is used to his opponent backing up from him because he's normally the aggressor, as he is here. Now, Jake LaMotta right now has his back to you. And he's winging from the body to the head to the shoulders, any way he can land a punch. And he'll do this consistently throughout the entire fight. As you can see, Marcel Sedan, he's to your left, and he's throwing punches very short underneath and over. So his punches, his technique is much better than Jake Lamotta's. The problem is the work rate. He's made to throw punches when he's not prepared to throw them, and more frequent than he's accustomed to. And when you're in the ring with Jake Lamotta, that's very easy for you to make that mistake because Jake LaMotta causes you to defend yourself with offense. Now, Jake LaMotta is to your right. Here's the difference between both men. He's punching, going backwards. And he's throwing combinations going backwards, body and head. This is not what Marcel Sedan is accustomed to. Here you have Jake LaMotta to your left. Marcel Sedan now it's to your left, and he's covering up. And Jake LaMotta constantly throws punches. He doesn't stop. He's causing Marcel Sedan to overextend and overthrow his punches. Look at those beautiful body punch combinations Jake LaMotta is throwing. Again, Jake LaMotta is throwing punches from body to head as he's moving forward, as he's moving backwards. Marcel Sedan is not accustomed to this. Sedan would knock out fighters such as Giovanni Marca. He would unfortunately kill Laverne Roach when he fought him and uh, Laverne Roach died in a hospital the previous day. The following day, I should say. But look at the combinations that Jake Lamotta are throwing. Beautiful body, Head, he does not stop. And he's punching going backwards. And every time Marcel Sedan throws a punch, he gets hit back twice by Jake LaMotta. Jake LaMotta is a very underrated defensive fighter. Oh, beautiful punch under the heart thrown by Marcel Sedan. And the way these men are throwing punches, both men, combinations nonstop. It's amazing to know that Troy Dorsey and Kevin Kelly... 
there would be in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most punches thrown. Again, Jake LaMotta is to your left. And he's consistently throwing combination. Beautiful punch combination by Jake LaMotta. He has his back to the ropes at this moment. Now he's to your left again. And when Jake gets hit, he throws punches back. Marcel the Sedan cannot come out of the corner. Jake LaMotta wins the fight. We pick up the action here in round five. Jake LaMotta in dark trunks with a white waistband is the number one challenger in the division. He is 5 feet 8 and weighed in at an even 160 pounds. Serdan, 5 feet 7, weighed in at 159 and a half pounds. From start to finish, this was a rousing battle as LaMotta and Serdan stayed toe to toe. Serdan won the middleweight championship with a KO win in 12 rounds over Tony Zale in September of 1948. In round eight, the action never lets up. LaMotta has had recent wins over Joey DeJohn, Robert Villamain, Tony Gennaro, and Tommy Bell, and a KO victory over knockout puncher Bob Satterfield. Sir Dan was a courageous boxer. In this fight, a ball in the first round injured Sir Dan's left shoulder. You will notice he can't use the arm at all. Sir Dan throwing only one punch, the right. LaMotta knows it, and although he respects Sir Dan, he wants that title. In round nine, LaMotta, always a great puncher, stays close, trying to minimize Sir Dan's right. LaMotta in dark trunks with the white waistband sends his victory, but the gallant Frenchman won't give up, trying to get one punch home that will end it all. But LaMotta, who can give it as well as take it, steps up the pace. Sir Dan still unable to use that left hand, still using one arm, his right. The end comes dramatically in the tenth round when Sir Dan cannot answer the bell. His left arm injured in the fall of the first. Detroit. 13th of September, 1950. The title is on the line, but LaMotta is far behind on points, going into the 15th and final round. LaMotta has won only four rounds up to this point in a bruising fight. LaMotta appears to be very tired, sagging against the rope. He seems right for a KO, but is LaMotta playing possum? Dortiel, a good boxer puncher, has beaten LaMotta before. Back in 1949, the Frenchman took a 10-round decision, and tonight only has to last the round, and he will be crowned the new middleweight champion. the overconfident Dottiel moves in for the finish, Jake LaMotta suddenly opens up. Dottiel knows he's been fooled and tries to hold and run, but LaMotta, always devastating inside, won't let him get away. It's LaMotta to the body and to the head. Against the ropes, Dottiel is in trouble. Dottiel has knocked out some good men, such as Steve Beloyd and Charlie Vick Civic, but tonight LaMotta has come on. Both men blaze away. It's a real Donnybrook. But LaMotta, rallying from the brink of defeat, knocks Dottiel down and almost through the ropes. And LaMotta scores a dramatic knockout over the very capable Laurent Dottiel.